These new cavern biomes are fun. An exhilarating experience. An entirely new world. Another observation about the game state. What? Nothing. Uh, did you two hear that? All I hear is my beating heart as it pounds full of adventure. Not this stuff again. Watch out! Goodbye, pork chop. Now, how do I mine this sh Silk touch, Stan. It's mining 101. Silk touch! That clicking is getting closer. Pork chop, stop listening to the sounds in your head and help me find a way to mine these crystals. <coughs> Silk touch! Damn it, this isn't working. Okay, I'm hearing a heartbeat now. I mentioned that, adventure, etc. I don't care how full of adventure you are, Stan. It's not normal to hear another person's heartbeat. What if you have a stethoscope? Or what if you delicately rest your head upon their chest like a pillow? The beat, a tender reminder of a loved one's mortality. What if their chest was like open? Sure, Stan. If it was like open. Weird. Now I hear something. Finally! I thought I was having a stress-induced aneurysm. Well, that heartbeat definitely isn't coming from Stan. Run! What is that thing? I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so! Maybe now isn't the best time for I told you so. When would be the best time, Chick? When we're being devoured? I think we're safe. My God, Staniel, are you the dumbest man alive? It hears us! Oh, great. Maybe I can ask him if he also thinks you two are jerks. There. Now, we're safe. This might be it for us, guys. Pushing is rude! You two suck, but you're my friends. I can't believe he just saved us! Let's head home. I'm sure he's dead and respond by now. That creature could be stealing Stan's soul! We need to save him! Ugh, fine. Do you still have that pickaxe he gave you? Yeah, Stan has gotten into the nasty habit of throwing these at me. Why are we saving him again? He hasn't eaten us yet! We're coming to save you! Mm, yeah, we're toast. Come on, you weird monster thing. God, my creativity is shit. I, uh, just did a whole heroic thingy and now we're supposed to battle to the death, right? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! What do you want from me? For me? It burns us! Wait, I'm healed. So... You aren't going to smash me and explode my inventory all over the cave? Not to be rude, but does that mean like I can go? Go on a tour of your lovely home? Wow, clicks. Can I call you clicks? This is a real place. You've got to be f***ing with me. Kill me. This video kills me. Your coordination, the beat? Wow. Great videos, clicks. They are not terrible. They are not a horrifying reminder that I am old and out of touch with modern youth, but I really must be going. Going to make a gift for you to return your kindness and the hundreds of tick blocks you torture... Subject... Yeah, shared with me. Okay, no mining. I'll just use these blocks I... Yeah, uh, found. For you. Right? You're blind. Boy, that really complicates this whole premise. Here, come with me. I'm just playing. Huh, you are scary strong. Scary, scary. I'm gonna die here. Dan, we're here to save you! I am definitely dying here. Come on, you cheap Halloween decoration. Show me what you got! Ah! Pork chop, chick. Glad to see you. Please understand that Clix... You named it? Clix is merely a protector of this cavern. A warden, some might say. He attacked because we were breaking our blocks. They are a gentle, creative, with clearly too much alone time. Now, clicks. These are my only friends. They're idiots. Please don't crush them. I want to see us end this in friendship, not violence. Can we stop fighting and grow together as companions in a peaceful world? Stan, you're insane. But I do like the concept of remaining alive. Peace it is, that. Too tight, too. Huh. No more new friends, Daniel. Look, I don't know why the village burned down. I was following a lead. A lead that this village was hiding some valuable and rare clothing dyes. 
This was the kind of intel that if you weren't a bit nuts, you'd walk away from. Some might say I was a bit nuts, and I'd say I was 50 cents short of a dollar. I might be hard to understand. Quite frankly, most people don't. But I'm the best at what I do. They say curiosity killed the cat, but I had no intention of getting skinned tonight. This village wasn't what it appeared to be, or as the villager I shook down earlier that day put it, Aww. I didn't know what I was looking at, but it looked interesting. It crackled and gave off a pulsing low heat. If there's one thing I know, interesting to one person is lethal to another. That was enough reason for me to pocket it. My plans changed rapidly, as they tend to in this kind of work. I didn't know what Chick was doing here, but I decided to take a gander at his personal project, and what I found wasn't at all what I expected. Expectations. That's a word I need to cut from my vocabulary. <coughs> Boy, is it hard to keep talking like this? <coughs> what I saw was delicate and beautiful. A bouquet of flowers. The precise materials for clothing dyes. I figured I'd swap the orbs out. Clothing dye might catch a dame's eye. I didn't need these fiery orbs, and they didn't need me. I was being watched, so I bolted, made it to the outskirts of the village when the smell of smoke caught my attention. I looked back. The whole thing was burning. Smoke from this world and a fire that danced with malevolent joy. My best guess is our perp started this whole thing via those orbs. What I'm certain of, however, is I didn't do it. Someone is trying to pin this on me, and I ain't no donkey. Look, I don't know why the village burned down. There was work to be done. Compassion may be in short supply, but while blood pumps in this heart, I shall lay siege to the darkness. Before the haunting black specter of death reclaims us all, I will not falter. Flowers are born from the ground we walk on, but unlike other creatures, do not wreak havoc upon the world around them. Instead, they live in harmony, a quality I strongly admire. Among a few others, exhibited strongly in iron golems, I thought a reward, most unusual, was in order. The device was ready. I took a deep breath, excitement teetering on the edge of my wings. Unorthodox measures to yield extraordinary results. I was prepared to deliver what most certainly would have been a well-received gift, but instead, there was a horrible explosion. I was filled with panic and fled. I noticed, in my cowardly retreat, Bam Bam perched atop a hill adjacent to the one I had descended mere moments ago. Bam Bam, stripped of their innocence in moments, now tumbling towards the raging inferno. Before I could act, none other than Porkchop appeared. He dashed with incomprehensible speed and whisked Bam Bam away. Look, I don't know why the village burned down! Stan is a cruel man. He takes from the land but offers Chick and I nothing in return. Despite my small stature, honor and valor are not in short supply. I took this into great consideration with my plan. I was to borrow some resources from the nearby village and make a very unique object, something I would happily share with the villagers once completed. You know what blaze powder is? Well. It is an extremely rare and coveted resource. I had managed to discover some while traveling in the nether. I wrested from the smoldering hands of a blaze itself. With the blaze powder and coal I borrowed from the villager, I was prepared to craft a fire charge, an object of great and terrible power. From the moment I made it, however, I knew it should never see the light of day. If Stan was to get his greedy hands upon it, who knows what destruction it might rain. That's when I heard footsteps. Even if my attentions were good, on my honor, I could not be found guilty of theft. I hid the charge and climbed through the window. Once they had left, I checked the house, but my fire charges were gone. I peered through the window to see who had taken them, and it was none other than the villain himself, Stan. I was going to need to find a way to get those charges back from Stan. But before I could even formulate a plan, I could smell the smoke. I looked back and to my horror, the village was ablaze! That's when I saw him! I don't know what devious plot Chick was formulating. My ambitions may have exceeded the grasp of crafting those fire charges, but I would not see Bam Bam come to harm! I wouldn't call myself a hero, but if that's what the people are saying, I won't stop them. What is most important here is that I didn't do it. 
Have you tried talking to Stan or Chick? Maybe they know something. You can't just keep me here for no reason. It's against, I don't know, Minecraft laws. <laughs> Wait, can you even talk? Oh no, it was Chick, it was Stan. I'll help you catch them. Calm down, pork chop. Yeah, it's just us. But, but I'm not doing my interrogation. <laughs> yeah, that isn't a cop. That's just a stupid horse. Wait. So he can't talk? Nope. Chick and I had the same questions earlier, but we were holding out to see if you'd confess. You know I didn't burn down the village. You stole the fire charges. Stan, you're the guilty, guilty? one. Guilty? They were your creation. It's literally your fire. Besides, Chick is the one who blasted them into the village. Blasted them into the village? I was blasting flowers at my friend. Are you insane? If the fire charges were in the dispenser, that's your fault, Stan. <gasps> oh, it's Bam Bam, my good friend. <laughs> Ah, uh, guys, we can't argue like this in front of Bam Bam. Uh, well, if there weren't any witnesses... I guess none of us are guilty. If a tree falls in the woods and no one's there to hear it, does it burn down the village? What? I don't know. I'm trying to be clever. Well, stop it. <sighs> this is new. Stan, is this all redstone? I might need it. Last time you used this much redstone, you blew up an entire village. In Stan's unneeded defense, they were a bunch of jerk creepers. Blowing up jerks is great, but this has to go. Dumb pork chop and chick, I'll show them. You have no idea what this mind is capable of. Pure, unadulterated creativity flows through me. This isn't hard. My life is cool, and I do cool stuff. I can make a cool thing. Yeah, people would be lucky to experience half the adventures I've been on. I've done it! Did you finally get rid of the redstone? You might say that. I'd prefer if you'd just say that. You made a giant black square. Nice job, Kubrick. I don't understand the reference and won't dignify it with a response. Isn't that technically a response? Quiet, pig. Look at my creation. Holy shit, Stan! Did you make a video game of our adventures? Yes. Why do our characters look like that? Eh, consider it a creative liberty. Wow! Stan, you are so cool! I wish I could be as cool as you. I know. You can't, but thank you. Huh, creative yeah. liberties are bad, but this is still impressive. I love being mean. Nerd stuff! Drink my potion! How did you even figure this out? Maybe I'm smarter than you think. You're not, but keep your secrets. You should get some sleep, Stan. You look awfully tired, and we do not want any phantom spawning. Tired? I feel wide awake! What on earth? Well, I've gone crazy. Didn't think it would feel like this. What is going on? I take it back, Stan. I look pretty cool with a monster's face. I think he's trying to communicate. Your powers of observation are a matched pork chop. <laughs> Wow, that one sounds just like you, Chick! <laughs> Spoke too soon, Porkchop. Stan nailed your voice. Well, we're definitely going to need to get rid of them. I don't know, Stan. They aren't attacking. Maybe we just give them some space. What are they up to? I don't know, but maybe we should just leave them alone. Leave them alone? They are monsters! Man, you have a pretty awful track record when it comes to creating life. Well, everything ends up being evil or hating me. That might say more about you than your creation, Stan. Fine. If there are no problems, they can stay. Hey, put that down. What are you doing? <laughs> Seems pretty evil to me. We steal from villagers all the time. It's not that bad. We should check on the video game. Maybe we can figure out how they got here at all. Oh, wow! I guess it's technically theirs now. Theirs? But I made it. Yeah, but they were born there? You're really grasping at straws, poor job. <laughs> yeah, I'm over it. Stan! 
again! Here we go again. They were watching us sleep. Name one instance where it makes sense to watch an adult sleeping. Exactly. Look, I did them a favor. Clearly they don't belong here. Oh no! Shit. Run! Well, you really screwed us on this one, Stan. If you just let me keep my chest of redstone, I never would have made this game. Stan, I'm sorry I made you do something you didn't want to, but we need to work together. Maybe we can break the game? Good idea. This time we sneak in and we disconnect some of the redstone, then they can't respawn. I kill them, bada bing, bada boom. Problem solved. This seems suspiciously easy. You're just being paranoid. You're being paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> At least one of us will die happy. What on earth just happened? Bam Bam! Bam Bam, you're a hero. Maybe you might make a regular member of the group. Have you seen the weaponsmith? Uh, we're kind of busy here. If you could just leave us be, that'd be great. <sighs> okay, this isn't like me to request help, but the village is nearly empty. All our skilled laborers have vanished. It's just me, three children, and the fishermen. We can't keep living like this. Our librarian, armorer, and cleric haven't been seen in weeks. Someone found the farmer's dropped orbs in the woods. What if there's a serial killer or a bloodthirsty cult? Or even worse, uh... Oh, you're still here? What's your profession? You got any goods for sale? I don't do trade. Then why are you still here? Ugh, jerks. Did she say something about a librarian? Just that he went missing last month. Weird. That's probably her again. Go away. We don't want your smelly nitwit aura around us. Hey, what did Porkchop say he was gonna do instead of hang with us? Close his eyes and pretend to sleep. Why? Because he's sneaking around the woods being shady instead. Eh, whatever. Who cares what he does? He told me he didn't know how to make secret doors. We should follow him and see what weird stuff he gets up to. I don't know. We had a good rhythm with these leaves. Never mind. That sounds way cooler. Let's follow Porkchop around and make fun of him for being so strange and secretive. Dang, we lost him. Well, back to the he leaves. He must have built some sort of redstone contraption that opens these doors. He threw that bead on the ground. Maybe there's a hopper beneath this block? Something that triggers the door's opening. We'll need to drop an item to... He made it once, he can make it again. I guess this is where Porkchop gets his endless supply of potions. Hey, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> I thought you were going to dismantle the Iron Golem farm, not move it. I did! Porkchop clearly rebuilt it behind my back. How despicable. It does provide a lot of iron. At what cost, Stan? At what cost? Now this sounds like fun. Trading? Oh no. <laughs> Save us! I hate books! Let me out of here! I haven't slept in three weeks. Despite my profession of choice, I in fact hate books! Everyone shut up! All right, which way did the pig go? First one to answer gets let out. He went that way. Thank you. You may go. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Good luck, scrubs. Whatever, let's look for pork chop. Shouldn't we, you know, rescue them? No, that sounds like work. I'll give you an iron axe. Wouldn't you rather have an enchanted book with unbreaking three, luck of the... I meant a sword. A diamond enchanted sword. All right, people, who has the enchantment for efficiency? You're in trouble, pig. Yeah, we found your evil lair. This isn't an evil lair. It's my secret base. Do you even know where your food comes from? The earth? Duh. Wrong. My automated farm's in my secret base. You didn't want us to break that golem farm and release your villagers. You should have told us. Fine. Next time I'll tell you when I kidnap a bunch of villagers' children and force them to quickly age and into specific professions. Happy? Sure. Yeah, whatever. We got a ton of free junk from those villagers. Do you want any cookies or cake? Yeah, they were getting pretty annoying. You're telling me. I'm sad. I never wanted to be a librarian. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Aw, you're pretending to play chess. Go away, Stan. This is a serious game. You're a chicken and a pig. How serious can it be? Chess represents the intellectual battle between a person and their own inadequacies. Thus, undistinguished persons are prone to behave poorly. So you think only dumb people freak out when they lose? <laughs> Any player can maintain composure, but to remain calm in a loss is truly undignified, as you will soon know. Then let's make this fun. If I win, you have to bow and call me the true intellectual of our friend group, as only the most dignified person could. I do say, old chap. What a petty wager. I accept. If I should win, you'll clear out that horrific dirt pile Stan left next to the house. Seal. And how shall the great Grandmaster Porkchop return from this setback? And check! This is why you shouldn't underestimate me. I'm the true intellectual. Say it. You're not a true intellectual. We made a deal. Deal with this! Ow, hey, that hurt! Whoa! Hi, guys. How did we not know about this room? Not to brag, but I did a great job hiding this wing of the house. Unlikely. But the skull is cool. Aren't you worried about piglin zombies taking over the house? That painting doesn't exactly lock. Now, what's the worst that could happen? I'd rather go out and explore the world and meet someone new than stay home. We've been to the nether before. Not every biome. I want adventure, fear, and my eyes to bleed with joy! That's not a thing. Well, I'm making it one. Ha, huh, sulfur, nature's perfume. No way. Did you just say what I think you said? Um, no. Wait, yes, which is better? Dude, he likes smelling your farts. I do not. I said I like the smell of sulfur gas. <laughs> he admits it. <laughs> <laughs> no need to be rude. Lighten up. It's just a joke. Jeez, you guys just need to chill. Let me handle this. Look, bully to bully, I see what you two are doing. I get it. Stan's an easy target with his dumb face and words. Hey. But let's just move along, okay? <laughs> Is he serious? Wow, you sound like a lame dad. I hate you. None of you are cool enough to hang out with us. Get out while we're still being nice. This is you being nice? I'm officially done being nice. Ah! What was that? Oh, they're demons or something, man. I told you to stop picking on creatures we don't recognize. No, you didn't, liar! Yeah, that's right. Scram. He's gone. Stan? This is not what I meant when I said I wanted to visit new biomes. Stan probably clipped into the wall and suffocated. He'll have respawned by now. Good. The house is likely infested with those creepy zombie piglins. Hey, only I get to complain about my weird cousins. They just stare and stare and stare. Crap. Our portal must have linked with someone else's. We can't get home. I thought this was a private server. Ha! <laughs> I win, dumb light. What if they're rude? Or mean? Or carnivores? We're just going to be polite and tell them their dumb portal connected with our dumb portal, and they better fix it, or else. Ugh, great. No one's home. I'm leaving them a nasty note. Can we fix the portal ourselves? If we add coordinates to our portal in the overworld, we could- Oh, you mean 205-78374? Yes! How did you know that? I'm the true intellectual of our friend group, if you must know. Ugh. Hey, watch where you're going! Aw, you made a friend at your IQ level! How sweet! Ugh. This is such a lame watch. <laughs> I don't want your baklava! Are you sure this is gonna work? As sure as 205 divided by 8 equals 25.625. Okay, if you're so smart, what's 374 divided by 8? 46.75. We're here. If this works, which it won't, 
I'll bow and call you a true intellectual. I don't get it. You always take Stan's side on stuff. Do you really have that little faith in me? Prove me wrong. Then we'll see. Oh yeah, that's right. Now, I know you won't actually bow or compliment me, but... You are the true intellectual of our friend group. <gasps> do you... do you really mean that? <sighs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Oi! You guys are the best. Oi! Ugh, I don't want to have to deal with these losers. Hello, me! Everybody out! Out! Oi! Jerk! Who wants a chess rematch? Ugh. Um, Stan? Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. Hey, bud. Everything okay? So if you end up enjoying this video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. <laughs> Enjoy! Waiting for Alex to join the Block Squad? Wish you could be the first person to know when Tanner finally wins the Battle Royale? Make sure you're subscribed and have your bell notifications on so that you can be the first to comment before anybody else!